guys, what is up? So, okay, I have a lot of explaining to do of where have I been. Uh, first things first, I, if you haven't followed me on my social media, I have posted that I've moved cities. I moved cities and places, so that is a long process overall to just pack everything, move, and then right after I move, I literally had to go on vacation that my, my mom booked. So I was on vacation for quite a, pretty much the whole month of June, and I barely got back to on uh, July and started settling in and unpacking and so forth. Life just happened, but I do apologize. I'm not ghosting you guys. I am here. I do apologize. Video is long overdue. <laughs> so I'm really excited for this video because um, I was on Instagram during my vacation and I saw this lovely photo from Ulta. Ulta Beauty put out a collection of Frida Kahlo. If you don't know me personally, Frida Kahlo is my favorite artist in the entire world. I she was the first artist I got introduced and like really like invested into her history and so forth. I am in love with her. I love the movie Simon Hayek does an amazing job. I love any books out there. Uh, I love that she's a she's represented as a strong independent woman because she really is and stuff. So she is my favorite artist. And just to see this collection, I'm just I was freaking out. So uh, I was freaking out. So. It took some journey to get all these items. I am not a beauty person, beauty guru. I do not get any PRs or anything. So everything that I'm going to show you, I bought with my own money. Uh, worth it because I love Frida Kahlo. I love Frida Kahlo because, like, oh my God, you should know me personally because I love her. I'm actually planning to get my next tattoo of her and stuff. I mean, I have a Frida Kahlo purse right here that I got in Mexico. Love this purse. I also have tons of like little things I'm free to call. Like I have a patch, I have stickers, I have a hair bow, I have bracelets, I have some earrings and so forth, I have t-shirts, I have like this coin purse of her right here, and even, <laughs> I think this is my mom who gave me this, she gave me a 500 peso dollars, I had her right here, this is Mexican money, I know this is worth like a couple monies in American, but I just don't want to exchange it because it has her face on my frame, this so, <laughs> that's how much of a nerd I am for Frida Kahlo, so I am really excited for this collection because, I don't know, I'm just really excited. So uh, it, did take, it did take me a couple trips to Ulta to get them, I uh, was showing the footage. So I went on the 21st I believe because it said on the Ulta account that it will be displayed on all Ulta. So I went there, was not displayed. So I went the next day, was displayed. Unfortunately there was not a whole lot out there, there was only a couple stuff out there so I got what I could get. Then the people told me they'll restock it the next day and so forth later on that week and so later on that week I went back pretty much still the same so I literally had to travel all the way to another Ulta to get all the other stuff that I really wanted to try so um this collection comes has the eyeshadow palette a primer a liquid uh, illuminator like a highlighter brushes like four I think matte liquid lipsticks and a sponge a swap or swatch type deal. I only got the things I really wanted to try, so I'm going to show you what I got. So, obviously, I got the amazing uh, collector's box, and this box has the um, eyeshadow palette, which is in here, and then it has this swatch right here. I really like up here, it tells you a little bit of Frida Kahlo, what year she was born, and when she passed away, and a little bit about herself, who she was married to, and about her artwork, too. So, this is the eyeshadow palette, and we'll make up swatch type cleaner brush. I also got two of the matte liquid lipsticks right here. Um, I got one called Surreal because if you don't know what type of artist Frida was, she was she was a surrealist artist. So it's like a surreal. It's like this berry color type deal. I also got a one called Sensual. This one is more like in a nude tone, so I'm looking forward to this one in particular because I swatched it and it looked beautiful. I got the the face primer, which is called the Perfect canvas, which I find kind of funny because she was an artist and I've heard good reviews on this too. And then I also got the little tiny bottle, which is the liquid illuminator, Heart of Gold, right here. And I also think this collection came out with some bronzers and some eyebrows. Um, so I got one of the blush and bronzer. This is the Beso de Sol. Um, this one, um, it's kind of small, so then you have the bronzer right here, and then you have the blush. This blush is more into the, like, kind of in the coral tones. There was another one, I forgot what it was, like, 
Best of the Amour or something, which was more of a pinky tone blush. I don't, I'm not a big fan of pinky tones, but here's, I got the coral. And obviously, I got the amazing makeup bag. I had to get this, like, I mean, come on, it's Frida Kahlo. I love Frida Kahlo. I had to get this one very much, as this is definitely going in my collection for sure. Um, I also got one more thing. Uh, it's totally not a Frida Kahlo thing, but I really wanted to try this new NYX mascara, this volume mascara type deal. So I'm all about volume when it comes to mascara. So I am really excited. Uh, so this is kind of like a review video, hello and stuff. Uh, again, I'm not a beauty guru, so I don't know what exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so one thing I've noticed about this collection when I saw it, when I looked on Instagram on the Ulta page, and looked at the comments, oh, there's, there's been a lot of backlash to this collection. I'll read you some, I'll read you some comments. Have you ever researched anything about Frida Kahlo? She loved her unibrow and thought it was unique and added her beauty. She was an outspoken against traditional beauty and loved breaking the boundaries. This is incredibly disrespectful and should be, and should remove it. Are you crazy? Frida would never, ever, 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 ever approve of this capitalism on her commute self. I can't believe you guys use a white face image of Frida. Also, where's her iconic inner brow? Why is she white though? Really, really disappointed you remove her unibrow. You don't have her favorite colors or flowers in this collection. You mark it using an image that centers a urinic beauty rather than an authentic beauty of Frida Kahlo was. This collection has been getting a lot of hate. I mean, I can see why people... Can see, I, I mean, the image that they chose of Frida, yeah, I can see she doesn't have her, her iconic um, unibrow, which made her very famous, but to be fair, um, there's a lot of stuff that don't have, like for example, does my purse doesn't have her unibrow, and yeah, it has a bit of a washed tone face, um, so forth. I mean, obviously, if you get something that's matching her artwork, yeah, you see her iconic unibrow and so forth. But I just feel like this is getting a lot of back hate. I personally don't hate it right now because I'm just a Frida Kahlo nerd, period. So, all right, so I guess let's start putting it on my face. First thing is, I'm gonna use a perfect canvas primer, and then I'm gonna place my foundation and concealer and so forth so let's get started so my skin definitely feels a lot smoother um, as far as my pores I mean my pores aren't the biggest but I can definitely see them if I close up so we'll see how it works for the foundation and so forth on I put uh, my regular foundation routine and concealer and I did set it right now so as for the primer it looks like it's doing a good job like my pores seem a bit hidden and stuff so my pores are not like exposed that much I mean obviously you're gonna see a little bit but like from afar you don't see it but obviously if I look super super closely you wouldn't see it but so far so good so all right I'm going to now prime my eyelids and then we'll go into eyeshadow Uh, eyeshadow palette of Frida Kahlo. So we open it up. This is what it looks like. One thing I really like about their, what they're putting throughout the whole collection is the phrase, the phrase, the phrase, the phrase. <laughs> Never apologize for who you are. I really like that a lot. So the, you have 12 colors. Some are shimmers and some are matte. So we have a bit of some like neutral tones and then some colorful ones. I like some of the names of them. Like there's Perla, I think what's her sister. Sol for sun, Adobe Amor, Mista, Lava Muse, Dahlia Magic, and so forth. And just knowing Frida overall, she never went, obviously, during her time, makeup wasn't really big. So she very had a very natural look to herself with her iconic, or with her iconic unibrow, uh, that's for sure. So I think I'm just going to keep it very nice and neutral. I do want, I would like to play with these other colors, but I'm definitely going to stay in the neutral tones. First, going to t dip into Perla and cover my whole entire eyelid with that. Oh wow, this is pigmented. That is good to know. I'm 
now that I have that, I am now going to dip in uh, lava, lava, or this kind of brown color right here. And for that, I'm going to start kind of put that in the crease of my eye. Ooh, that is very rich. So my Morphe brush is a bit dirty, so I think it's now the perfect opportunity to use this huge shadow switching pan. So when we open it up, it looks like that. So if you don't have one of these, I would definitely invest in just to clean your brushes. Uh, you have like a texture sponge to get all the extra pig the pigment off. As for the sponge, that's a new one. So a small white sponge can be damp to remove cream or wet eyeshadows and liner. Got it, but I don't need that, so I'm just going to brush it off. And good to go. Alright, this is hard because I really want to do Muse, which is kind of like this kind of gold tone, and then I also want to use Mystical, which is like this kind of rose gold type deal. I'm going to sw swatch them real quick to see which one I like best. So, okay, so I don't know if you guys see that well, but I swatched them on the palm of my arm. So the top one is Mystical, which is definitely a rose gold tone, and then the bottom is Muse, which is definitely like a golden color. <laughs> you guys can see it from there. So, that being said, I'm going to use Muse and put that on the eyelid of my eyes. eyes right there. I kind of like the colors right now. Again, I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. So now I'm just going to put some eyeliner on and then we'll go to the brows. to eyeliner I always like to go dramatic it's so hard for me to do simple and we have a dog in the room I don't know, can you guys see her can you guys see her I'm just lying down <laughs> we have a dog in the room now yay so I lied I'm not gonna do brows yet I am gonna do the mascara so I'm not gonna put any falsies because again I'm trying to make this as simple as possible so I'm gonna try the very new NYX uh, mascara for volume lash gara type deal so apparently this mascara is 94 95% saw instant volume and 94 saw instant lift so it gives you lift and volume at the same time we will see I'm always a sucker when it comes to volume mascara because I always want volume thoughts on the mascara guys I'm gonna creepily look at you I honestly like this mascara it's better it's definitely better than the ones I have definitely tried from NYX in the past so I de it does definitely gives you volume and like at the same time which I'm okay with all right onwards to brows so, so with the brows I'm gonna use this gimme brow from benefit this is in 4.5 gel just gonna coat it and then I'll be stepping back into the eyeshadow palette and I'll be using Infinity, which is black shade, and also Lava, the brown shade, using, if I can find it, the lovely angle brush. And I'm going to create the iconic unibrow. I think this is the best that's gonna happen with this unibrow. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I have the iconic unibrow. Honestly, it's not bad. I mean. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Shall we do some contour and some stuff? Alright, so I'm going to start using the lovely brush and bronzer duo. It looks like this. It's very small and I gotta take off the protector now. Alright, so this is what it looks like. It is very cute and small. 
So I usually don't bronze a lot, so I'm going to think I'm going to use the bronzer as kind of like a contour, so I'm going to use my lovely Jeffree Star brush for contour brush he uses, kind of dip in bronzer and hope for the best, shall we? downstairs who wants mom which is not me so I don't know where mom is <laughs> all right um, as far as the bronzer in this one it does an okay job for a contour it's very like subtle type uh, contour situation although this one's not really blended out as well so I approve of this bronzer let's put some of now of this peachy coral blush that is a lot so one thing I've noticed about this blush, it has a bit of a shimmer to it, so you can actually possibly use this as a highlighter, maybe, so there's that. We're almost done, so I am now going to use this Heart of Gold Liquid Illuminator. It says here, lightweight, creamy formula with a soft glow, golden glow, enhance all skin tones and undertones. Uh, yup, so this is basically a liquid highlighter. I never ever use a liquid highlighter. I'm always using the powder ones. So this is my first time. Oh, it's like kind of like, almost looks like a tannish color. So, I, what I've seen people on the internet, so I feel like you just kind of like, yeah, maybe. I don't know if what I'm doing is correct or not. for sure. Last step is now the lips. So I have two lipsticks here. I have one of the Surreal, which is like a very berry color situation, and then I have a sensual one, which is kind of like in a nude. Uh, I really don't know. Normally, if she did wear makeup, Frida, she would wear like I got iconic red lips, which they did have one. It was called Passion and stuff. I'm going to use sensual. This is kind of like this kind of nude kind of tone. So... I definitely do like the packaging and so forth, so let's see. And the final step, of course, is the setting spray. This is the end result using a lot of the new Frida Kahlo Ulta Beauty makeup stuff, so honestly, it looks not too bad. I mean, I did a little oopsie right here with the lips, but you know, that happens. So the lipstick definitely feels nice and soft. It is dry. The lipstick feels nice. It definitely feels nice and smooth on my lips. Eyeshadow I really like a lot. Um, as for the primer, it looks like the primer is still looking pretty good, I would say. The blush and bronzer duo is pretty good. I actually kind of like it, but a lot of the contouring and the blush I actually do like on my skin. As far as the liquid uh, illuminator, maybe it's just me, maybe I have no practice using liquid highlighters, but not a big fan of how it looks on my face. That just could be me. I doubt now. So, Other than that, I do love a lot of this collection. I'm definitely going to play around a whole lot with this. I like it. I really do like it. And as a Frida fan, I'm definitely happy about this. It's definitely going to be a memoir of me with this. I can't wait. There's definitely a lot more products out in the store. So they have like a brush set and they also have like an eyebrow kit, which I wasn't really interested in getting. So. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this kind of review video situation type deal, and honestly, I might later on today uh, watch the Freedom movie. We will see. So, anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you are interested in any of these products, definitely go to Ulta and check them out and stuff. I definitely like the new NYX mascara, FYI, so I would definitely, it's only like $11, I would invest in it, so. Okay, I think I'm gonna go now because there's a dog barking. I don't know where mom is, so we'll see where mom is at. I love you guys very much, and I will see you guys very soon with a new video. All my social media links are down below, so please follow me there. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!